shut off the circuit breaker to the entire house. We're here in Easton, Pennsylvania. We're about to investigate this house, which is on Parker Avenue, because there's a lot of complaints in the attic of different noises that we're hearing. We're hearing voices, but tonight we're going to try a lot of different tricks and tactics and use different people as trigger objects in order to see if we can spark up any paranormal activity that might actually be here. So come on, let's take a look. Show yourself to us. I just got an orb. Did you? Where at? Right in front of the door there? No, to the left. Was that you? What is your name? Can you give me two knocks? Now, Jackie, you said you had stuff happen in this house? There was always things that I heard, noises initially when I moved in um, at night, but I, I like to discount those things, say that it's the refrigerator or the pipes clearing, I don't know. I, I like scientific explanations, so when you came over, I was like, he's going to tell us that it's crazy, that this, these noises are coming from appliances mm -hmm. or whatnot. And you turned everything off, and you said you caught a lot of stuff, but then after you left that night, I went downstairs here mm -hmm. to the kitchen to make a snack before I went to bed, and I always locked the kitchen door. It's two locks on it, actually, so I locked the door after I had my food, and I went to bed with a clear head. I got up in the morning, the door was swinging open, and uh, I know I didn't open it. Mm -hmm. She didn't open it. it. Yes, I've been more aware of it since you came, but also it's happening definitely more often. Uh, the noises. You can hear footsteps on the third floor when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you go in the guest room, which has pipes, you can hear voices from the third floor. So, Maria, th this is your house, correct? Yep. Now, uh, obviously, you're the one who reached out to me about things that you have going on here in this house. Noises, um, you know, there's been reports of seeing apparitions here, which are obviously spirit entities that you're visually seeing. Um, so, tell me, what kind of stuff do you see? How often does it happen? So, I... I've heard a lot of knocking in the attic at different times. I, as it was pieces of floorboard on the second floor uh, foyer that I ripped open and wound up finding like burnt newspapers and uh, lots of those little skeletal remains of God knows what creature. And uh, I don't know. I I spent a lot of time in different nooks and crannies of this house and have had different feelings. Never anything really bad, but definitely like 
you're just not alone. If, if there was one thing we could do that would spark up this activity, what do you think it would be? I don't know. I definitely think that the attic probably generates the most attention as far as the whole house. Okay, right now we're going downstairs. We're going to shut off the circuit breaker to the entire house. So no matter what happens here, there is going to be no energy going through this house at all. So whatever we capture is probably something that uh, could be known as paranormal. So we'll take a look. Let's go. If the cat would move. <laughs> move, cat. It's all me in here. Right now we're going to be headed outside, we're going to go get Miguel, we're going to come back in here, go full nights out. So right now the only thing we have going in this house is that candle. All the power is out right now, there's nothing working. This is the only entrance in, only exit out. We're about to go up to the third floor, see what we can find. I got the team here, we have Miguel over there. Don't point it at me. And we have John over here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is it. We're going in. Now keep in mind it's pitch black. We're using infrared night vision to go through the dark. If anything that happens, we're going to try to be able to see and capture without any light interference at all. Keep in mind it's pitch black. Can you just flip your thing to low lux right now so you can show how dark it is? Yeah, that's low lux. <laughs> right now, this is all I can see is the screen in front of me. I'm actually got it on the candle right now. You can see how dark it is. Alright, so ready to go. Okay, remember, if you feel anything different, if you get any attention. Right. What we're using here, this is an EMF meter, which is electromagnetic fields. And what ghosts are said to give off is fields of energy. Therefore, this detects different measurable uh, energies that are not man-made. So if there's any type of energy in the air, this should capture them because it's that sensitive. And now we're going up to the third floor. We're going to the third floor because that's where most of the activity seems to happen. That's where people are scared of trying to go up there. Let me turn this on. Okay, here we go. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stand over here. Hey, you guys ready? Yeah, it's not, the camera's not going to focus. Hey, you wanna turn on the uh, EMF area? Huh? No, you, you can keep it on. What, 6.4? Whoa. Hurry up. You see that? That just spiked. Shh. Let's start doing this. This is going to focus right now. Is that you keeping the cameras going out of focus? If you're here with us, give us a knock. Show yourself to us. Gil over there is going to be on that couch all by himself up here and see if he can capture anything. Good luck. You think I know these stairs by now? <laughs> Oh, there's a mirror there. Jesus. <laughs> there's a mirror in there. 
Let me close this door. This house is creepy. Yeah. I don't care if it's haunted or not. There's. These are newspaper clippings that were found here on the other side of the wall. Maria saw she felt that she had to tear apart the wall like there was something behind it. So what she did was find these newspapers here in the wall that seem to have a little bit of some ash on them like they were burnt. If you can see here, it looks like something singed them up. Now let's see what we can find here. Let's see if we can find a year or something. Right at the top, 76. 1976, the Express Times. But why was this paper left here? I wonder if it's for this. Who's Dennis Billman? Wow. I wonder if he has something to do with this and why this paper's in here. It's under family. So there must be something that has significance to this house and this paper that was found behind a wall. And it was just this. But why was it burned? Tell you what, I'm not sure what this is, but this might have something to do with it. And also what Maria said she found was a strange skeletal remain. Wow. That's strange. Can I guess that? I don't know about you, but this basement feels creepier than it ever felt before. Yeah, like, when I was upstairs before, I didn't really feel anything, to tell you the truth. Downstairs, when we went to hit the breakers, I almost felt like something was behind me on the, uh, on the, um, stairs there. And you got your, you know, here, let me see the... Okay. Wow. Just from opening the door, we got a point two. You know, I wonder if there's something to do if this alarm system is still active. Went down. Hmm. This might have something to do with it, so I bet you this probably wasn't anything. Yeah. That's strange. Nothing. I wonder if these are glow lights. I don't even. Yeah, they're Unless glowing. there's a battery in there. Yeah. Usually they just have a battery because it's right. hooked up to a. Uh... Got a point two again, so it might be this. So I'm not sure about that. Just for safety. What was that? About the cat? Yeah, there's a kitty. Okay. <laughs> oh. yeah, Watch that step. <laughs> it's pitch black. Yeah, now I feel it again. Let me see how many steps. Do you not like when people are on your stairs? Do you not want Jay on the stairs? I heard that you push people off these stairs. Why do you do that? What the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Power's off, but there's a couple pipes up there where the noise came from. If you're here, could you give us a knock? Who's here with us? If you're here, can you make my meter jump up a couple numbers? Give me two knocks if you're here and you can hear me. What was that? That was me. The knocking? I think it was a toll bell, like when I was walking up, it was like... No, I heard like a distinct, like three knocks. Tick, tick, tick. On top of your footsteps. Yeah, I heard that too, I thought it was me.
1.1. Can you touch one of us? If you want people to know you exist, you have to let me know that you're here. Now in the bathroom, doing an EVP session. Did something happen in this bathroom? Why does it feel so heavy in here? Did something bad happen here? Did you die in here? What happened to you? If you do not want me to be here, give me a knock. Alright John, right now Miguel's going to be up there all by himself doing some EVP sessions. We're going to go downstairs and find out which girl is going to assist him coming up here. We're going to send her up all by herself. <laughs> I thought you were closing that for a second. Like, what? No, I'm going to hear cat. You looking at my foot kitty? Uh, this will be, I can't wait to analyze that footage. All right, come on, let's go pick our first victim. <laughs> right. right now, we just told Jackie to go join Miguel upstairs, and she was actually so eager, she ran upstairs, and we couldn't even catch her. Okay, ask questions. You might, no, I want you to ask the questions. I'm scared. I can feel like through me, but you have to ask the questions. Uh -huh. What do, you, what do you want to know? Who lives here now? Who else is here? Who else is here? Can you tell us your name? Is that noise? Is that you? No. That little scraping noise? <laughs> no. It wasn't, it was coming from the closet. What's your name? Can you make a noise? What is that? You don't know? It's coming from there. It sounds like you're touching something. What happened in here? Where's the cat? Ready? No one move. I just got an 8.9. 8.9? 9. 8.9. I'm recording. Are you still here with me? If you're here, can you give me a sign of your presence? Did you hear that? What was that? There's a noise in this closet. Now you're here. Are you still here with us?
Do you need help? Are you trapped somewhere? What does it look like where you are? Where are you? John, was that you? What? Did you make that noise? I didn't know you did. Did you hear that? I missed it. Hi, Kelly. Are you still in here with me? What's your name? Do you want me to leave? Are you back in here with me? That was that again? It was behind me the whole Come here. Let me take a video on this side. Is there something you want to say? And tell me there's someone in that box. Was that that noise there? That an area. What Did you hear that? I'm hearing that. I think we got we 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 gotta take this box out of here. Let's do it. I don't want to spend all night here. There's like a little mouse in there. There's, this box is completely hollow and empty. All right, take it out of here and then look. It wasn't an echo because it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it every time I said something. It would only answer certain questions. We asked if it was a man and it scratched. We asked if it, it was a woman and there wasn't a scratch. Jax. Are you still here with us? Was that you? Jack, is that you? No. Was that you that made the knock? I just heard a girl's voice. Is that you? What's your name? What happened to you? Jackie, are you making those noises? Yeah. Can you give me a sign of your presence? Are you still here with us? What is going on? Kelly? What? Are you making any of those noises? No. Do you hear them? Did you hear that? Yeah. Jackie, is that you? No. Did you hear that voice? I 
Is there anybody else in the house except for the people on the third floor? <laughs> Jackie, explain what happened. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. That makes no sense. You wouldn't make any noises in that bathroom. No. Then you making the noises. No, the I'm making make noises. With what? You guys ready? Yeah, man. Come Why on. Can I come back up? Jack, can I come back up? Happens. Come on, come Miguel. Up. You have no idea can what I, I just. We had girls talking in of unbelievable stuff and loud bangs. Come on, hurry up. Get that camera. Is that you tapping? Why are you tapping? Give me three taps. Give me two taps. Can you show yourself to us? Can you shake the house? Do you like us? Can you show yourself to us? Can you shake the house? Is that you making those noises? Can you give me three knocks? How many are there? Are you saying there are five people in this house? Investigation. Uh, we got 
some crazy stuff. So this has been one heck of a night. I'm exhausted. Um, right now I'm going back downstairs to try to turn the circuit breakers on because we're going to uh, see where we go from here. And this might just be wrapping it up for the night.